Hi, my name is Holly Hutchinson, and this is a Q&A for Augmented Reality Tennis. Do junior players with a parent as a coach have a slight advantage? I think that players that have parents as coaches um, have both advantages and disadvantages. I think obviously it's good to have parents that in sport and know kind of what you're feeling emotionally. Um, and then also obviously having a coach, someone that you can hit with every day is really good. I also think there's almost a disadvantage too, because sometimes they could potentially become too involved, want to control um, the players opportunities, what tournaments they play, um, that kind of type of thing. So I think there's both advantages and disadvantages to it. What was your collegiate recru recruitment process like and how easy such difficult was it for you to gain attraction from Division One teams? I think my college recruitment um, surrounded basically playing the junior ITF grass court tournaments. Um, so I played the ITF grade one at Roehampton and then um, junior Wimbledon. Um, I got a lot of um, coaches there at those tournaments and they approached me. Um, and then basically from there, I emailed um, a couple of coaches that I really liked and then narrowed it down to what I wanted. So was the weather at the university good? Was the relationship with the coach um, good? Did I like um, what the universities had to offer academically? And then I narrowed it down and I went to um, two schools, Old Dominion, which is where I ended up going, and then Penn State, and I chose um, ODU. And I'm really, really grateful that I made that decision. How was your experience playing in junior Wimbledon? Junior Wimbledon was a really great experience for me. I think that um, I'm always going to be grateful and I'm always going to remember that. Um, I actually got to play it twice, so it was really cool to have um, a second year where I felt a little bit more experienced. I had a tough uh, loss my first year, having some match points, but just playing on the grounds and just being in that type of environment with all the different players was awesome. And there's like, I think, Nothing would come close to that um, playing on those courts. How did you qualify to play in Wimbledon? So I actually, I got a wild card uh, the first year into qualifying and then I won two matches. Round one was against a French girl and the second one was against a girl from Denmark. I think both were in three sets. So that was how I earned my uh, place in the main draw. Elaborate on your upset victories against three top 100 players in the IGF rankings. So I actually, I can't remember <laughs> um, specifically which matches those were, but I think that um, any time you play someone that's highly ranked, you go into the match with a little bit more, less confidence in yourself and more just like, okay, I'm going to just swing a little bit more and I have a big game. So I think when I was playing those top 100 players, I was kind of playing for broken just a little bit more and going for a little bit more and that obviously paid off. And then from those wins, obviously my confidence grew. Are any of those players currently playing on the WTA tour? Again, like I can't actually remember who I beat. <laughs> um, so I would, I think a lot of players though that I've played in ICF Juniors are now playing on the tour. Um, I see a couple of names uh, even now, like in Wimbledon qualifying and stuff. And I recognize some from Juniors. Do you have any intriguing stories that you can share? Uh, I think traveling as an ITF Junior, um, you've you know, experience a lot of different things in a lot, lot of different countries. So nothing actually sticks out to me right now, but just from traveling and being in kind of obscure places and meeting a load of new people, like you gain so many different, um, you know, opportunities, you meet a load of new people. And I think that that's something that's really good.